There, I got the new um, wood carving illustrated magazine uh, in the mail. So I uh, was looking through it at some of the projects. And I always do a project out of uh, any book I get. It's my law. <laughs> Can't buy books and leave them sit without doing the project. So um, the way they have it laid out here, it's um, it's the gun, his rifle. It's a cowboy holding a rifle. So um, I had to draw some lines, and the way they have it set up here on uh, on this printed out pattern is I had to separate the pattern here so I could get the gun out and do a glue up, uh, glue it on the paper and cut it, cut it out. So um, also the same with the. Uh, but when you do that, if you cut it straight, it's kind of in the way of the cowboy, <laughs> the only way of the cowboy spurs. So I just wrote all, marked all these lines on here to get myself a, a pattern for the front view, and these lines there would be pattern for the uh, side view, and a separate one for the for the rifle. So that way I have a full pattern. And that full pattern and uh, the rifle will be separate. And uh, I'm going to cut these, cut this rifles out first since I have a half inch piece of wood here. And uh, use your scissors, make a nice neat cut so you can, won't have any problems uh, when you cut when you uh, cut it out. I'm just gonna smear this. I just got some uh, watered down regular white glue. So it's gonna be there temporarily anyway, so you just wanna make sure your, your grain is going the same way as the rifle, that way Works that better that way. And I think I'm going to cut these out on uh, with uh, the Excalibur saw that I have over here, scroll saw, and uh, I'll try to get that on film also. So I mean, uh, I mean, on get it recorded. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Gonna do this. Uh, it's a Chris Hammock uh, project, wood carving illustrated. Issue number uh, spring issue number eighty six. There he is. Windy. Windy the cowboy. Sorry about that reflection there. Okay. Windy the cowboy. So, let's go cut it out on the scroll saw. Okay, let's cut out a couple of uh, rifles here. Well, at least we'll cut out one anyway. And uh, it's going to get a little noisy here, so. Bear with me. Go outside the line, the knee line. Leave the black line.
going to go straight up with it and whittle the rest of that. Instead of trying to get all those contours here for that, I can carve those in. Plenty extra on this. You can uh, not allow it to whittle off. You start out too skinny, and you're gonna have uh, not gonna look not gonna look right. So there you go. It's like uh, the rest of it is whittling. I'm gonna put a um, put a center line on this and. Uh, We'll whittle it out. Okay, cut this. Uh, I cut the first one out on the uh, scroll saw over there, as you saw, and uh, did a good job. And I'm just going to show uh, this other one. The bandsaw is a l little less noisy, so I uh, cut this one out on the bandsaw. Except for the, except for the dust collector <laughs> vacuum. Uh, I just go into these uh, dark turns there. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty sharp turn and. Uh, Make a cut in there, and uh, like to. Then, as you go around, leave your line. I like the bend saw better than that scroll saw for this type of thing. When you get to there, it pops out. your fingers out of the front of that blade because that's the cutting part. You'll cut your finger right off the part of it. you want to do it it's good it's good you got a bandsaw use the bandsaw whatever if you got both saws use whichever one you like I'm particular to the bandsaw myself <laughs> and uh but I just wanted to demonstrate that you can do it on scroll saw also so I got a couple of rifles and uh I got to get a piece of wood big enough to um do those front view, side views, and uh, 
So we'll go on with this project. So just so I wanted to uh, show you one thing that's the difference in the bandsaw and the scroll saw. Scroll saw blades are uh, more of a precision cut, clean, finished cut than uh, the smooth. Where the bandsaw is going to leave bandsaw marks there. doesn't really matter on these rifles because you're going to carve them around anyway. But I um, just wanted to uh, make that point, show you the difference, if you can, if you can see it, I don't know, I, uh, I don't know if the camera will, uh, probably not, but anyway, see these are scrolls, these are bandsaw marks right here, this has none on the top, so this has them on the top also, so. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, to um, just mark a center line around this thing for first things I'm going to try to do here. So try to keep this rifle a um, little bit symmetrical. <laughs> and And these I guess these uh, parts right here, I'll just kind of carve an indentation there so you know where they are. And this top trigger there, or it's not a trigger, it's a This is the trigger down here, <laughs> so that's the cock it. And uh, you know, it's just a little accessory that uh, <coughs> if, when you add accessories, it makes uh, it makes for a little bit better carving because of the um, gives it more interest. So he's going to be. He's just going to have this rifle in his hand here. And so, I'll do the best I can trying to get it looking like a rifle. <laughs> but, let's say just carve to the center line, kind of round these over, and uh, on all four corners, work around the whole thing. Until you get a reasonably round barrel. Bullets come out of a round barrel better, I think. And this is going to be, see, I'm going to take some out here for this. lever action so it comes in a little bit and it's going to have a um, front bead here for aiming you can always keep the keep another one there or at least a picture there to uh, to go by and Pretty much self-explanatory. I'm gonna I'll carve a little bit of this uh, off the camera, and uh, and we'll I'll be back. And that goes. You just kind of go around it and shape it until you're happy with it to so make it look like a, a rifle. And we're gonna. Gonna make another one of these really just for the just for the fun of it. 
Alright. There you go. Making accessories. Now I have a bag of uh, a lot of stuff I cut out here. And um, like these couple double barrel shotguns that I was working on and and uh, pistol. You know. You should have some of these cut out from the cut them out on a bandsaw. And uh, there's a hand, you know, if you can see it, that's like a hand. You want you kind of carve the hand separate. So accessories, add-ons. There's a hand that's already carved. Somewhat anyway. Poor. But anyway, that's this for the rifle is um that's starting to shape up. I can just, you can just, like I said, you can go as far as uh, you want with it.